Hi everyone, Suzanne here. I hope you're all well and welcome to Sew Custom. Today's video, as you will have already seen from the thumbnail, is how I sewed up this little number. So if you're interested in seeing that, then let's get started. For fabric on this one, I'm using two. For the outer, this gorgeous linen and viscose blend with a lovely bit of embroidery detail. And then for the lining, 100% viscose. Both of these fabrics are quite sheer, but coupled together should make for a nice opaque dress. And on to the cutting out. This is my front. I have two layers of outer fabric underneath this pattern piece. I'm just marking the placket here, top and bottom with notches. And then I have some gathers along the waist, which again I'm marking with notches. So that's that done. So the first thing to do here is to add those gathers. So to do that, I'm going to run two lines of stitching in between those two notches. So stitching within my seam allowance, starting with the back stitch, using the longest stitch length on my machine and pulling my threads to finish. So that's my first line of stitching done. So for the second, I'm just moving my needle a little bit to the right and running another line of stitches right next to the first. Back stitching to start and pulling my threads to finish. So now to gather that fabric down. So I'm leaving my bottom threads as they are, holding on to the top two and pushing my fabric along. Measuring to see if I've gathered enough. And once I'm happy, tying off my threads. So now that that's done, I can press my gathers down. This will just help when I come to stitch later on to keep everything nice and flat. And while I have my iron, I'm just going to press my placket. So folding the fabric at those notches and giving myself a nice crease line. Folding again at those second notches giving myself a second crease line and I'll use these later on when I come to add my interfacing. So that's my front bodice all prepped. So the next thing to do is to add the neckline. So I have two layers of fabric underneath this pattern piece. I'm cutting this out twice. You'll see the second set a little bit later on when it comes to lining. But for this set, I want to add a little bit of structure so to do that, I'm just pressing some cotton interfacing into place. And now this piece is ready to be added to my bodice. So lining up that short edge with my bodice, right sides together and pinning. And when I've pinned, I've made sure that my placket is pushed out of the way. So you can see that here and ready to stitch. Back stitching to start at my one centimeter seam allowance and back stitching to finish. And I'm attaching this in two stages just because I find it makes it much easier to sew around that corner once I've snipped into it, which is what I'm going to do next. So I'm popping a pin just at that last stitch as a marker so I don't snip the whole way through. And then just snipping through the bodice fabric to the edge of the pin and that will just release the fabric and allow me to line it up with the long edge of the neckline. So you can see that here, pinning into place and ready to stitch. Back stitching to start at my one centimeter seam allowance and finishing with a back stitch. So I just need to give that a good press and this is how it looks. So I'm super happy with this. My corners are nice and sharp. So now this piece is ready to be joined to my back at the shoulder. So my fabric underneath this piece is on the fold, snipping my notches, the sleeve, the center neckline, a notch for my gathers, and the center waist. So that's my back cut out and notched. So just like the front, the first thing to do here is to add in those gathers. So just finishing my second line of stitching here, 
and off camera I've just gathered that fabric down, I've measured, I'm tying off my threads, I've given it a bit of a press and now this piece is ready for its neckline. My fabric underneath is on the fold, I have a notch at the top and bottom of the fold line and just like the front I'm cutting this piece out twice and again you'll see the second piece when it comes to lining later on and for this one I want to add that same structure as I added on the front so I've pressed on that same interfacing and here just lining up that bottom edge right sides together with my back bodice matching up my notches matching up my corners and pinning into place ready to stitch back stitching to start at my 1cm seam allowance and back stitching to finish and I'm doing exactly the same here as I did to the front popping in a pin at that first and last stitch snipping my bodice fabric from that corner up to the pin on each side releasing that fabric and allowing me to line it up then with the rest of the neckline pinning into place and ready to stitch back stitching to start at my 1cm seam allowance and back stitching to finish so that's had a good press off camera and this is how it looks nice and neat and tidy and now this piece is ready to be joined to the front at the shoulder so just lining it over the front right sides together and pinning and ready to stitch back stitching to start at my one centimeter seam allowance and back stitching to finish so I finished off that seam on the overlocker and pressed it nice and flat which you can see here and now this piece is ready for the sleeves I have two layers of fabric underneath this pattern piece I have the usual notches around the sleeve head and I want to gather both the sleeve head and the hem so I just have a couple of notches on each to indicate the gathering points so that's my sleeves cut out and notched so the first thing to do here just like before is to add in those gathers so off camera I'm going to run two lines of stitching around the sleeve head in between those two notches and then at the hem exactly the same thing in between those two notches and after I've gathered down the fabric, tied off my threads and pressed, this is what I get. So now my sleeves are ready to be added to my bodice. So lining up my notches. Lining up my underarm seams Pinning And ready to stitch Back stitching to start At my 1cm seam allowance Taking it nice and easy across those gathers And back stitching to finish So I just need to finish off my edges and give that seam a good press, which you can see I've done here. So that's as much as I can do on the bodice at this stage, so I'm going to set it aside to work on the skirt. This is my back, my fabric underneath is on the fold. I have those same notches as I had on my bodice, indicating where my gather should be and one at the centre waist. So just like before, the first thing to do on this piece is to add those gathers. So I've just repeated all the same steps and this is the result. So this piece is now ready to be added to my bodice. Before I do that, I want to cut out my front. 
I have two layers of fabric underneath this piece, those same notches as I had on my bodice front, so a couple at the top for my placket, my gathering notches, and a couple marking the bottom of my placket. So I have the same prep work here as I had on my bodice, so I want to add in my gathers between my notches, and I want to press my placket. So I've spared you guys that detail and completed those steps off camera, and this is the result. So that's my skirt front and back all prepped, so now to add them to the bodice. So just laying my bodice back over my skirt back, my fabric is right sides together, lining up my notches, pinning, and ready to stitch. Back stitching to start, at my 1cm seam allowance, taking it nice and easy across those gathers, and back stitching to finish. So I just need to finish off my edges and give that seam a good press, which you can see I've done here. So that's my back all joined, now for the front. My fabric is right sides together, lining up my notches, lining up my side seams, and pinning, and ready to stitch. Back stitching to start, at my 1cm seam allowance, and back stitching to finish. So I just need to finish off my edges and give that seam a good press, which you can see I've done here. So happy with that. So that's as much as I can do on my dress outer at this stage. So I'm going to set it aside to work on the lining. So this is my front. So I'm using the same pattern piece here. The only difference is I've removed the placket and I've made it a little bit shorter. I have all the same notches, so that's that done. And for the back, same notches again here, and this one again is just a little bit shorter. My bodice pieces, the back is exactly the same as the outer, and for the front, just like the skirt, I've removed the placket. So off camera, I've joined all my pieces together in exactly the same way as I did the outer. So I have my neck pieces that I mentioned earlier. I've added in my gathers, finished my edges and pressed, and this is the result. So now this piece is ready to be added to my outer. So I'm going to join first of all at the neckline. My fabric is right sides together, lining up my edges, lining up my corners, my shoulder notches, my centre back notch, and pinning, and ready to stitch. Back stitching to start, at my 1cm seam allowance, pivoting at my corners, and I'm taking this nice and easy. I want all of my corners to be as sharp as I can get them. And finishing with a back stitch. So I just need to cut into my corners and turn everything right side out which you can see I've went ahead and done here. So super happy with this. So that's my lining all joined around the neck. So the next thing to do is to join it at the sleeve. So I'm just folding my lining in underneath by my one centimeter seam allowance. I'm laying it over the top of the sleeve seam and pinning into place. Once it's all pinned, this is how it looks, and ready to stitch. So I'm placing my needle just to the inside of the sleeve seam, back stitching to start. I'm using a little bit of a longer stitch length, trying to stick right along that edge the whole way round, and back stitching to finish. And after it's had a nice press, this is how it looks, nice and neat and tidy, 
and I am going to continue with a little bit more top stitching just to finish off the neckline. So using that same longer stitch length, back stitching to start, sewing right along the edge of the neckline, pivoting up my corners, taking this nice and gently the whole way around trying to make sure that my stitches are nice and even along those edges and finishing with a back stitch. And once it's had a good press, this is how it looks. So I'm super happy with how this has turned out. So that's my neckline complete. Now to close up the side seams. So I've pulled my lining up out of the way and I'm first of all going to close up the outer fabric. So lining up my sleeve, my waist and my edges and pinning and ready to stitch. Back stitching to start at my one centimeter seam allowance the whole way down and finishing with a back stitch and I finished my edges and given that seam a good press and this is the result so now that that's done I can close up my lining so this time I've pulled the outer fabric out of the way I'm making sure my sleeve is nicely tucked in underneath and lining up the edges of my lining this time. Pinning and ready to stitch. So starting at the underarm with a back stitch at my one centimeter seam allowance and finishing at the hem with a back stitch. And I finished off that seam edge also, giving it a press, and this is the result. So happy with that. So now that that's done, I want to take care of those raw edges at my sleeve hem. And for this dress, I've chosen a cuff for that. My fabric underneath this pattern piece is on the fold and I'm cutting this one out twice. So the first thing to do here is to give myself a nice crease edge. So I'm just folding to the inside one of the long edges and pressing my seam allowance in underneath. This will just make it a little bit easier when I come to attach this to the dress. You'll see how that works in a second. So next I need to close up the short edges so laying one over the other, right sides together and pinning and stitching here at my one centimeter seam allowance, back stitching to start and back stitching to finish. So that's had a good press and is now ready to be added to the dress. So I'm just popping it inside the sleeve right side of cuff to wrong side of sleeve, lining up my seams and pinning and ready to stitch. Starting at the underarm with a back stitch, sewing at my one centimeter seam allowance the whole way around and finishing with a back stitch. So I've just pressed that seam away from the sleeve and here just folding the cuff in half, laying that crease edge on top of the stitch line I've just sewn and pinning into place. Ready to stitch, back stitching to start, using a little bit of a longer stitch length, sewing right along that crease edge and finishing with a back stitch. So that's had a good press off camera and this is the result. Nice and neat and tidy. So that's my sleeve hems all finished. So now for the hems of the dress. 
So for this one, I've decided on a double folded hem. So to do that, I'm just folding the fabric to the inside by about half of my hem allowance, pressing and folding again by the same amount and pressing. And I'll finish that off camera. And I've done exactly the same thing with the lining hem. And this is how it looks. And ready to stitch. Back stitching to start, using that same longer stitch length, trying to hug that inner crease edge the whole way along, and back stitching to finish. Same thing on the lining, starting with a back stitch, hugging that crease edge the whole way along, and finishing the back stitch. So my hems have had a nice press and this is how they look. Happy with that. And now that that's done, I'm ready to close up my placket at the top and bottom. And as I mentioned earlier, I've just popped in some of that same interfacing using the crease lines you've seen me press as a guide the whole way from the neck to the hem. And here, just folding my placket back on itself, popping in a pin and ready to stitch. And for the top, I've just pressed my seam allowance in underneath, folding the placket back on top of the neckline and I'm going to stitch in the ditch. So I've placed my needle right in that seam, making sure I'm picking up the top of the placket in underneath back stitching to start and back stitching to finish. So that's the top of the placket closed. So now for the bottom. Starting with the back stitch, sewing over the top of the placket right along the edge of the hem and finishing with the back stitch. So my placket's had a good press and now that they're all closed up I'm ready to close up the lining on the inside the whole way down that centre front. So just tucking the lining in underneath the placket from the neckline right down to the hem and pinning into place. And ready to stitch. So I'm stitching just along the placket edge on the inside, back stitching to start, using that same longer stitch length, trying to stick to that inner crease edge the whole way down and back stitching to finish. So that's my placket all sewn down with my lining all nicely enclosed. So super happy with this. So now the last thing I have to do is to add in my buttons and buttonholes. So I've just popped a pin in at the centre of the neckline for my first buttonhole and for the rest popping in a pin at two and a half inch intervals right down the centre front and ready to sew. So stitching here in the usual way, sewing this first one on the horizontal so that's that one done and I'll do exactly the same thing with the rest off camera and this is the result so super happy with that. So now to open up my buttonholes. So I've popped a pin in at one edge and I'm using my seam ripper here to open up the fabric in between those stitches. The pin is just going to stop the seam ripper from going the whole way through the fabric. And now to stop that fabric from fraying too much, I'm just going to add in some fray check and I'll repeat that same process for all of my buttonholes. So I've let that fray check dry and then I've pinned my top and bottom placket together and here just popping in a little dot right in the centre of each of those buttonholes. And I'll use those dots as markers to sew on these lovely little wooden buttons. And once they're all in place, this is how it looks. And with that, this little dress is complete. So I have my square neckline all nice and neat. I've got my gathers at the top and bottom of the sleeve, my sleeve cuffs, 
my gathers at the waist on both the skirt and bodice, those buttons the whole way down the centre front, the same square neckline at the back, gathers at the waist, and then those lovely double folded hems. And from the inside, everything nicely enclosed. I am super happy with the finish on this one. And this is what it looks like on. So I was in two minds about this one when I started making it, but I could not be more pleased with how it's turned out. I love the neckline, front and back. I love that it's buttoned down the whole way down the centre front. I love the length of the skirt, all the little details around the sleeve, the cuffs, the gathers. The fit is so nice. I love the fabric. That linen viscose mix with that little bit of embroidery is just gorgeous. And then that viscose in underneath just makes it so lovely against the skin. I absolutely love this one. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you've not yet subscribed, please do. And I shall see you on Friday. Until then, I hope you have a fantastic week. Bye folks!